Helping us navigate through the DIY world is crafter in chief, Natalie Pervasian, founder of cremedelacraft.com. Thank you so much for being with us today. Of course. Okay, so now how can we use our own junk to organize junk? Absolutely. My first tip is definitely thinking twice before throwing anything out. Things like empty jars, bottles, you know, anything like a container is a really great way to upcycle um, objects that are commonly known as trash, but that really can be transformed into treasures. Okay. So now I see these jars, and yeah. I know in regular stores they could be. $20 upwards. Exactly. So how easy is it to make this? It's really easy and you know most people might even have a lot of these materials at home which makes it a really easy project to try out. Um, so all you need is empty jars like I uh, mentioned, glass jars are especially great to use and some spray paint. So if you already have some of these it could cost you almost nothing mm -hmm. all the way to maybe five dollars or so. Um, and like you mentioned these are about twenty dollars in the store so we're really get getting, getting a great value out of these. And I love that. So what are the best jars to use because I noticed that this is just pretty clean and there's no Exactly. Texture on it. Yes, exactly. So anything that has an indentation might be a little bit hard to disguise, even with paint, because it will pop out. So any kind of clean glass jar would be a really great item to use. So now most of those glass jars have labels on them, and they yes. can kind of have a sticky residue when you're trying to take it off. So yeah. what's the best way to get that off? For me, what's uh, been really easy is just dunking it in a bowl of warm water, maybe leaving it for about half an hour, um, and then try to peeling it off. Usually that gets a little bit looser, and it's really easy to peel off if you need a little bit more help, you can use a dish sponge and kind of start scrubbing it off and then you should have a clean jar. And this is so cute. I love the way you did this, how it's like chalk stickers, right? Exactly. So they, they sell these you know, all over the place now, these chalkboard stickers. You can erase them. So here we have coffee. Once you run out, maybe you want to switch it with tea or anything. So they're really versatile um, and great pr a practical tool to have. And what is the best way to get an even spray on these to make them look really expensive? Yeah, I definitely recommend you, when you're spray painting, keep maybe the nozzle a foot away from the jar. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to create these these really thin layers, so maybe one layer, wait about 10 minutes and then another layer. You don't you don't want to you know spray it on too thick in the first first round because then you're going to get um, a lot of drops and things like that. And what's a good trick if we want to make sure that everything we're putting inside is keeping sanitary? Exactly. Definitely turn the the jar upside down mm -hmm. so that you're only getting the outside and the inside is clean on the inside. Great. Yeah. Well, easy enough tips to follow. So thank you so much, Natalie, for being with us. And for everyone watching, keep watching for more hashtag own show.